we'll start out with a thin, uniform hoop. Uniform means what, Mr. P? Constant density. So it has a constant density. In this particular case, the term thin means that the thickness of the hoop itself is very small relative to the radius of the hoop. So we're saying that whatever the thickness here is, is irrelevant uh, because the thickness is very small relative to the radius of the hoop. So we have our hoop, which is up here. We're going to figure out the moment of inertia about the z-axis. The z-axis would come out of the board like this. So we're figuring out what the moment of inertia of this object would be to spin it this way. We have the radius of this uniform thin hoop. Does this radius go to the outer edge of the uniform thin hoop or to the inner edge of the uniform thin hoop? Go ahead. Same. Realize it's a thin hoop, so that question is irrelevant. It's the same thing. We're going to split this into an infinitesimally large number of infinitesimally small pieces, which all have a mass class of dm. So we're going to have a whole bunch of these little guys, which have a mass dm. The integral is going to be r squared dm. Okay. How do I take the integral of that? Which way are we rotating? We're rotating it again, just to review. We're rotating <coughs> this way, right? So it's the z-axis which comes out here. We're rotating it this way. We need to take the integral of this to solve. I would agree with that, and that would normally be the case. But with, for this one, it's a lot easier than that. Does r change as a function of dm? No. No. So is it a constant or a variable? What's the integral of dm? The mass. So the moment of inertia about the z-axis is just equal to m times r squared, where r is the radius of the hoop. So I, I just substituted in r for the radius of the hoop. Note, this is by far the easiest one. <laughs> and it, it even makes sense because if you think about it, all of the particles are located at distance r from the axis of rotation. So if you do it, the sum of m r squared, well this is just the total mass and this is just the radius because each mass is located at a distance r from the axis of rotation. 